Hey everyone, and welcome to Letty Does Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, I am back after a while, and I have had a pretty busy last month. And, you know, if you guys are on my Discord, my patrons over on my Discord, you guys know how busy I've been. Which means I haven't gotten a chance to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I'm just doing it now! So, in the last episode, uh, we saw what Deke had been up to since the last season finale. And he has basically been starting up his own company uh, using S.H.I.E.L.D. tech. And basically, Sarge is hunting for him. They know that he's not from that dimension, and they want to kidnap him. But lucky for Deke, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. know that they are coming for him. And also, apparently, like, one of Deke's most trusted advisors within the company is also an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. that was basically assigned to him to make sure that he doesn't get a lot of profit benefiting from using S.H.I.E.L.D.'s tech and passing it off as his own um, VR game. So, yeah, Deke's company uh, went down, but he was rescued from Sarge. I believe Agent May was not, however, though, so she ended up getting taken by Sarge and his group, and Deke should now be with Mac, who is, I guess, watching over him. At the same time, uh, we saw Enoch and Fitz were together in some casino on Kitson, and... Well, things are going well for them until Enoch decides, or not, I guess he doesn't decide, but Enoch malfunctions, he shuts down, and basically the casino finds out that he is an artificial life form, which are not allowed outside of the casino, so Fitz gets put in lockdown, and then he manages to escape, and he reunites with Gemma for one second, but then he gets taken away by the bounty hunter dude, who I can only assume is of the same artificial life form as Enoch, so... Enoch is all alone! He doesn't have his best friend anymore. He's all sad. But now he is with Daisy and with Gemma, so we're gonna see what he does there. And uh, yeah, that is basically where we left off with all the characters, so things I'm hoping to see. Uh, we know that Agent May has like feelings for Sarge, or she like, she doesn't want to hurt him, and she really feels for him because he looks like, uh, I was about to say, Phil Coulson! He looks like Phil Coulson, so. He probably is Phil Coulson. I just have no idea what his backstory is. They haven't completely explained that. Last thing we saw him and his group do was they put some type of grid in the sky. I don't know if that's supposed to keep people on Earth and it's like a blocking, like a physical grid, or if it's meant to track those bat chest burster things. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming we are going to get to see more of that in this episode, and other than that, uh, that's basically all I'm looking for. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6, Episode 5, The Other Thing. Let's get started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so sad! Why am I? I'm gonna turn you. What? What does that mean? I swear to God, Max starts off 
every episode in that exact same pose. He's just like, mmm. Got word, Deke Shaw's out of surgery. <laughs> Is that that guy? guy? <laughs> That's the guy from the last episode that was secretly working for S.H.I.E.L.D. There is no hope, only loss. <laughs> Enoch! Hunted. I have become a cautionary tale used to steer children away from a life of crime. <laughs> oh, I love depressed Enoch as much as I love, like, happy Enoch. It's so great. Poor Fitz. Though now I walk alone, I will never forget my one and only friend. Your only friend? What's happening? Is everyone okay? Davis, you junkie, what did you it do? It wasn't me. Something came up. <laughs> Leave Davis inside. alone! Him saying, oh dear, actually, Raid, we realized something. Right now, Enoch is just Eeyore. That, it's, it's his depression. So let's get into it. No! <laughs> no! Okay. Hey, money spent on those effects. Did he just expose them to the vacuum of space? What the hell, Enoch? Oh, okay, the two ships are connected. Cranky. That was being nice. You're a whiny bitch. <laughs> the two of them are like a married couple. They really are best friends. Our home world has been destroyed. All that remains of the Chronicom race are aboard this fleet. Chronica 2 is gone. I feel like all the other people that have been cast as Chronicoms don't sell it as well as Enoch because his actor does a very good job of delivering all his lines in monotone. It began slowly. Oh yeah, and then the actor's really good at staring straight. Jittery movements. Was, great debate. was prepared. Bestie. Fizz. Bestie. <laughs> sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> Agent May fight scene of the episode, of course. How could I fucking forget? She has to have her fight scene. They gotta, they gotta milk Mina when for all she's worth. I wonder why he isn't crystallizing. Like what happened to Yo-Yo's boyfriend? Oh, that sounds so squishy. For parasitic alien birds, so who the hell knows? <laughs> Mistake. Leopold Fitz is not our enemy. You need to release him. Incorrect. <laughs> He's trying to save his friend! They have the answer together. I am trying to save our entire race. And you are concerned about the welfare of one human. <laughs> it's his best Why? friend! Because we have recently become best friends. <laughs> It seems Earth has made you soft. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no! Enoch is gonna screw them over! Let's go. He was just answering logically! Mama, you're so beautiful. Come here, big mama. Oh yeah, that's a big mama. Choo. You spy on me again? There you go. Nonsense. But ley lines are believed to be a matrix of planetary energy. We've seen what these. How many do. times are we going to hear that? I'm saying the academy 
It's not a bad idea. You'd make a great teacher. <laughs> the academy. <gasps> Exciting. You know what you're, <clears throat> you're not even trying. Yeah, speak for yourself. Yeah. Then why am I the only one sweating? It's because you haven't worked out in weeks and it's starting to show. <laughs> <laughs> I love these two. No, sit inside. I can't leave you. <laughs> I hope she did the same to Snowflake or whatever her name is. And of course, Agent May knows how to drive a truck. She has to know how to do everything. She's just like, kick-ass woman extraordinaire. Shaggy. Shaggy. Wake up. Wake up. You're having a bad dream. Wake up. Make your little booty up. Wake up. Okay. Back. She caught it. Caught who? Oh, yeah. They don't know. Oh, Daisy's going to be heartbroken. Our home world. That's insane. Insanity is relative. What has this got to do with Jane? Why is she <laughs> no. no good. Automaton. There is no <gasps> need for no! You are the absolute worst. <gasps> On the bright side, you and Simmons will be together. I am so conflicted. Oh, it just ended. All right, so I don't know how to feel about this episode. It was great. I'm very excited for everything that's to come, but it's so sad. So much betrayal and confliction. It's like for Agent May, she has to deal with Sarge and that whole can of worms. And then there's Yo-Yo, who's, I guess, now gonna get back with Mac, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's a high possibility. I can't wait to see Deke interact with Daisy uh, for the first time in, like, over a year. I think that's going to be pretty funny. I hope he just carries around, like, lemons in his pocket. It's, like, from now on, and he's just like, here you go. Um, but Enoch! Oh! No. And I thought he said that he had already been like um released or something or like he was deactivated and that basically means that he's like exiled or something. So I don't know if he's doing this because he's not thinking about it or he's doing this because he thinks that it's going to get him in the good graces of, like, his race, but I'm not sure. I'm kind of confused about that. And, um, yeah, that was, that was so sad. I love Enoch. I think he's amazing. Um, so, seeing him be the bad guy, though, oh, it was so sad. But anyway... Next episode, we're probably gonna see how Fitz managed to figure out time travel, or hopefully he doesn't actually, because that'd probably be bad for like space time stuff. I'm kind of confused as to why they would even need to time travel at all, though. Like, okay, Enoch, when he first came, he said that they don't really have emotions, they're artificial life forms, yada yada yada. So if they don't have emotions, and they're artificial life forms, meaning like, you know, they can't be born, they're made, because the lady made the joke about how they both look the same, why do they care about going back and preventing the destruction of their world so much? Like, surely they know how to make more of them, so... 
like, I don't know, are they made from a very specific material? Is it something that they can't replicate somewhere else? I just don't understand why they don't, like, deal with the loss of their planet if they don't care about it for sentimental value anyway, and then they just go somewhere that's uninhabited because maybe it doesn't have the life-sustaining requirements for living things, but they won't care because they don't need those things, so can't they just start over? I mean, right? They're artificial life forms. I don't know. It seems weird that they are supposed to be these, like, not messing with the universe or the timeline or whatever, we just watch how things go down and we don't care about anything species, but, like, they're willing to mess with the timeline. They don't know what's gonna happen and they are so capable of making big changes just from small actions, which completely contradicts their entire, like, life motto. And then it's like, they're going back for what I can only assume is sentimental value because otherwise they could just rebuild elsewhere. And it's just like, why? Why? Like, I don't know. I'm very confused because this race of, like, artificial beings was presented to us in a very specific way, and aside from Enoch, the other guy also, like, behaved very seriously, and he was not emotional either, so... If they're all business, why are they going to risk the timeline? This seems extremely out of character. I'm just saying. Maybe it's just me. Let me know if you agree. But anyway guys, I think with that, that is basically all my thoughts that I have for this episode. I'm pretty excited for the next one. But let me know what you guys thought and if there's anything that I missed or anything cool that you noticed, let me know as well. And, uh, yeah, otherwise that is basically all I got for you guys for now, so get out there, do all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I think there's good. Maybe, like, more this position? Your head's cut off, buddy. A little more. There we go. You're good there.